There's a new code of conduct to keep amateur fishermen in line, one which authorities hope will get the most out of the recent ban on commercial fishing on the Mary River. The code isn't legally enforceable, but anglers say that doesn't matter because it's unlikely they'd break it anyway. It was heralded as a triumph for amateur fishermen, the closing down of chambers and fink bays to commercial fishing, but now a new code of conduct to ensure maximum benefits. It's a great uh, outcome for AFANT, the, uh, the closure for commercial fishing cre creating the recreational only zones in chambers and fink bay and uh, we'd like to see the best outcome possible from, the, uh, uh, from these closures. And these are the nine simple rules for fishing along the Mary. Throw back all barra and thread finned salmon bigger than 90 centimetres. Keep only what you need. Use only barbless lures and flies, specifically no live bait. Help provide data on fish numbers that was previously provided by commercial anglers. Care for the environment, so don't leave your rubbish and old fishing gear lying around. Help stop salt inundation along the Mary. Practice safe boating behaviour. Also practice one way traffic up and down the Tommy Cut cut through and be respectful of other anglers and boat users. We'll be promoting this on our, on our website and through uh, our social media and, uh, and, and also promoting, promoting it with anglers. But the opposition says a code is a toothless tiger as it's only voluntary at this stage and not legally enforceable. So those that choose to break the rules will only earn the scorn of their fellow anglers. The fishing uh, code of conduct really is a bit of a farce. It's uh, just a simple code and it's there to mask the fact that the decision of the CLP is to remove local uh, seafood, local barra from our tables by closing uh, that part of the fisheries to commercial fishing. Some items within a code of conduct such as this may be viewed as uh, desirable to regulate at some time in the future. Uh, certainly not on the agenda at the moment. Uh, we'll wait and see how the code of conduct uh, goes uh, into the future before we make any decisions about regulating. But amateur fishermen don't believe it'll get to that and expect the vast majority of territory and interstate anglers to comply with the code. I don't think there's anything that's too restrictive. Um, bag limits have, have been set and, and have always been, been pretty fair up here and, and I think um, amateur fishers nowadays are all pretty, you know, we're all hopefully pretty in tune with the environment and, and, and the knowledge that you know it's it's not an um, indispensable resource. I think the uh, the majority of anglers uh, will do the right thing into the future, and uh, we'll see the best the best outcomes from it. Brendan Wolf, Nine News.